Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a real-time clock that's synchronized with network time services. And the reason for doing that is to reduce the number of calls to a network time server. Some service providers can limit your service if you call them too often for time update. Here's a real time clock running outwardly, no different to that that I demonstrated in TechNote 122. The clock is running away locally, it's not getting a time update from network time services. Here's the concept of operation. When you look at the source code, there's a function called time now. And what that does is return the current Unix time from an NTP server. You can see there it's in the format of quite a large number. That's today's Unix time, 1556013274. It was done this morning. So that's the format, that's the number that gets returned. So what I do in the design is to create a local copy of it. So I assign local Unix time to Unix time. So local Unix time now equals 15601 set up a one second timer based interrupt and its job is to increment local Unix time and it does so every one second so you get one second resolution on your clock and then test every time you call for time is local Unix time more than an update period, say every hour. If it is, then synchronize again using network time protocol and um, get, get Unix time back from the server. And if the result is different, so anything in red is Unix time from the NTP server, anything in yellow is the local time. In my example there, I show they're different. So get an update and make them the same again and therefore time is synchronized. The only thing you need to be aware of with the ESP32 version, again there's the examples are on GitHub, is that when you're calling for interrupt services in your interrupt service routine you must invoke a um, macro that prevents local variables from being corrupted so you enter your interrupt service routine, increment or change your variables or test your ports and then exit your interrupt service routine. So you must enter and exit the interrupt service routine with those commands I've shown there. The program will compile that I've posted on GitHub for both processes, the ESP826 or the ESP32. Using the interrupt technique every one second reduces the load on the NTP servers. The timer may be inaccurate. They may be either fast or slow, but NTP keeps it on time. In conclusion, this is how you'd implement a or one method of implementing a real time clock in software uses a one second timer interrupt to enable a local Unix time, as I'm referring to, uh, be kept in time synchronization with an NTP time server. So it's a periodic synchronization, reducing the network load. And uh, it enables you to implement a real time clock with minimal uh, net le network loading. And the result is a very accurate real time clock. Um, you have to periodically use the Wi-Fi network to get that time update, but that's all. hope you found this concept and implementation interesting and useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 